So hello, hello. everyone, and welcome back as always. Hi. Hi. <laughs> We're going to be watching more Game of Thrones as always. We're going to be watching more histories and lore. So welcome back. Yes. And we're going to be watching The Field of Fire. Higher. Oh boy. Don't even know what that's about, but we yeah, shall find out. No idea. So I've been loving the illustrations, no the storytelling, the narration's been awesome. We're loving yes. how the other like different actors are actually doing that, yeah. ones that pertain to whatever story we hear. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty that's cool. Right, so we yeah. have Viserys last time, and I think he might be on this one too. So crazy. We gold shall see. Crown dude. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> he's just that awesome. <laughs> <laughs> The days of the Andals were numbered. One by one, their so-called kings were bending the knee or facing the wrath of Aegon Targaryen. Aegon of old Valyria. Aegon who was blood of the dragon. After defeating the Iron Man at Harrenhal and slaying the last of the Storm Kings, Aegon and his sisters, Rhaenys and Visenya, set their sights on other prizes. The gold mines of the rock and the fertile lands of the Reach. King Lauren Lannister of the Rock and King Mern Gardner of the Reach foolishly thought their combined armies could beat back the Targaryen host. Wow. Mm -hmm. They rode forth together, their proud banners flapping in the wind, and faced off against Aegon in a vast golden field of wheat. The two kings commanded a massive force of nearly 60,000 and it appeared the day was theirs, until Aegon unleashed all three of his dragons for the first and only time. Each beast was named after the Valyrian gods of Aegon's forefathers. Visenya rode Vagar, whose fiery breath could melt armor. Rhaenys rode Meraxes, whose jaws were big enough to swallow a horse whole. Greatest of all, was Beleriand the Black Dread, with fire dark as night and wings so huge whole towns were covered in shadow when he flew overhead. This magnificent creature was ridden by Aegon himself. Four thousand men were bathed in glorious dragon flame that day, on what came to be known as the Field of Fire. King Mern was among the dead, and House Gardener died with him. His stewards, the Tyrrells, surrendered his ancestral stronghold of Highgarden to Aegon and were appointed Lords Paramount of the Reach and Wardens of the South. When Lauren Lannister witnessed Mern's fate, he wisely bent the knee. <laughs> Aegon spared Lauren's life, and the Lannisters were made Lords Paramount of the Westerlands and Wardens of the West. After his triumph on the Field of Fire, Aegon's conquest was assured. In a short time, the so-called Seven Kingdoms were melted down in the heat of the dragon's flame and transformed into a single realm. Aegon would forever be known as Aegon the Conqueror. Hmm. Kind of sounds a little familiar. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping Daenerys will not be, I, and not saying that's like a horribly dark path, but she's a very good conqueror, absolutely. And I really want her to rule, but I, I'm balancing that with John. Like, I want him to rule too, and hopefully they can have a good balance with that. I'm just hoping yes. they don't die. I'm going to be so mad if they freaking kill him off, like one of them off. Because, yeah. like, oh, what if you could rule, so we're not going to be off, you know. Gonna be, there's going to be something. But there. I know she wants to break the wheel, Daenerys, and she wants to. Mm -hmm like unify everything or conquer everything and it's really sounding like her father's history <laughs> you know her past mm -hmm. history um very interesting that was actually really cool i love how they brought in the dragons they were yeah. talking about that and i already knew right away when they were talking about the other you know um houses and stuff merging like going and against. going to hand. yeah yeah like even though they you had so many strong gonna happen. yeah right away i'm like well they're gonna bring in the freaking dragons because i'm sure that's what daenerys is gonna do we've seen it before already on the mm -hmm. show and she's just going to wipe out everyone with just dragon fire. Maybe. I don't know. But that's kind of what I'm assuming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not to laugh. Cause that's not going to uh, be fun. That's it. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. So, Targaryens really do conquer. And they're very powerful people. So, I'm hoping Targaryens and Starks unite and take out these White Walkers. Yeah, I'm just so nice afraid because no spoilers. But my own assumption is I totally feel like... The White Walkers are going to take out most of Daenerys' army and even up the odds for all the different parties involved. Like, 
I just a lot of people are gonna die and it's gonna suck. Happy thoughts. But you know, yeah, <laughs> it's a good show. Is, is, is she's she might be a conqueror, but I think she's much more positive. She does. You know, she doesn't want slavery. She doesn't want... I love her. I do love Daenerys yeah, a lot. She's, she's, yeah, she's more like positive, that. I think, than... And having than Tyrion... Her father was. Exactly. I agree. Yeah. And having Tyrion by her side also brings her back. Not that she leaves it too much, but, but you know, for a while, she's tr- still trying to figure the, all this out in a young age yeah. and trying to figure out what's right. You know, she she's a great ruler. She wants to always, like, provide and be good yeah, as sure. a ruler, but... You know, sometimes she's not sure, or you know, of her decisions, like especially in the beginning. Like, do I kill this person for, you know, betraying my order, even though he was trying to do something right? If you know what I'm talking mm-hmm. about. But mm-hmm. and he still believed he was doing something right, and he didn't think his Misa was going to kill him. But yeah. you know, she was trying to prove a point. Like, you can't go against what I'm saying. So, so mm-hmm. it's hard, and I can imagine. And she's trying to figure out, like, you know, right from wrong, and how to do things her way and make ruling. A little bit more easier, I guess, or try to make the right yeah. decisions. She'll definitely be a good leader, especially with Tyrion and, and a lot of people that are with her right now, keeping yeah. her well-rounded. Um, yeah, so I think she would be awesome. It just kind of worries me because of all the history that goes back to the Targaryens when they say they go mad, there's a lot of incest, and that's what drives them mad. Um, they're conquerors, and I'm just, like, labeling stuff, and it kind of makes me concerned that, you know, they're, I don't know, hopefully she'll change it and make it a democracy, and then everything will be yeah. great. So, and then, break yeah. the ale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so <laughs> break the ale, break bread, break ale, let's go, woo! <laughs> or cheers the ale. Anything else you'd like to add? Nothing. Yeah, I just like to Nothing. ramble, as you know. I'm always talking. <laughs> woo Mob loves yeah. dragons. Yeah. I kind of wonder, actually, I just put in my head for season six at the end of season six with how big the dragons are getting that they're fully grown that they're that's as big as they're going to get but talking about these past dragons and how one was that huge yeah, and how his wings thing. covered towns i'm like whoa yeah. like shadow you know covering mm-hmm. the towns but yeah. i'm like whoa maybe they'll get even bigger like i can't even imagine because i'm like that's gonna be crazy yeah <laughs> it's gonna be crazy so i, I would like to see that there i would definitely be like babies to see that. coming too you never know yeah, yeah that's true, true. Yeah, yeah yeah that's true Get those you never eggs know. again. Yeah, those eggs are pretty darn cool looking. Yeah. So we're going to cut it short because it's getting late. But thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you very soon as always. Yeah. Bye. Yeah, bye. bye.